Good morning and happy Tuesday, Jays. I'm Emma Cronin. And I'm Katie Binhart. Today, Drew Mackey will give us a look at Tabloid Tuesday. Brooke Ingram will tell us all about the weather, and Nathan Gray will keep us up to date on all things sports. All of that and so much more coming up next. This is KLHS. Welcome back, Jays. Anyone have a chance to go to the Post Malone concert last night? Well, if not, no worries. Drew's going to give us a little insight on yesterday's concert. Drew? Thanks, Emma, and welcome to Tabloid Tuesday, Jays. Just as our beautiful anchors just mentioned, Post Malone was here in KC last night. He said a, he sung a, a song, a wide variety of songs from his first major hit, White Iverson, released in 2015, to his brand new song, Rockstar, released about a week ago. Rockstar is number four on the iTunes charts as of right now. Now here's some fun facts about Post Malone. He was born on the 4th of July and is 22 years old. His real name is Austin Richard Post. The stage name Post Malone is rumored to be a reference to the basketball player Carl Malone, but Post claims his Post Malone name uh, is just from his last name. The last fact of the day is Post Malone's net worth is around $1 million. Now that's crazy for a 22 year old. Now back to, that's all I have for you today. Now back to the front desk. Thanks, Drew. You know, Post Malone was so awesome last night. I had definitely had a good time. It was pretty crazy. It was hot, but it was crazy. Yeah. So. In other news, the first member meeting of the Lumberjack Club will take place this Friday in room 609 from 7.20 to 8 o'clock. All members that paid for membership should come by for a few flapjacks in their new Lumberjack Club t-shirt. Are you a huge Star Wars fan? Do you enjoy tabletop gaming or role playing? Then join the Star Wars Gaming Club in room 30 after school on Mondays. Email Mr. Pearson for information at gary.pearson at lps53.org. Exit 16 has their first show of the year on Thursday, September 28th in the Little Theater at 7 p.m. Tickets will go on sale Monday at lunch for $3 or in room 609 and then $5 at the door. Ace Mentoring is meeting in room 30 Wednesday after school at 2.50. Come and meet the architect, construction, and engineering professionals donating their time to mentor interested LHS students. For more information, see Mr. Blacklinger. Are you looking for something fun to do Saturday? Yeah. Well, if you are, come join the robotics team September 30th for their robot glow run. Here's some more information about it. Oh, that looks really cool. I might just have to go this, yeah. this Saturday. And just as the robot glow run is approaching us, so is homecoming. Hoko is one week away, so you better start planning if you haven't yet. Part of that is purchasing your homecoming tickets. Tickets will be on sale at lunch this week for $15. If you haven't checked your email, I would suggest doing so. Voting for the 2017 homecoming nominees is now open. Our queen candidates are Audrey Aspel, Katie Binhart, Samantha Butcher, Peyton Cassette, Molly Day, Riley Kelly, Madison Ripper, Alexa Smith, Haley Smith, and Braylon Stevens. Our keen candidates are Caden Chapman, Ryan Flood, Daryl Kachui, Briggs Hall, Donnie Lee, Amos Mora, Robert Rahi, Sam Schaefer, Logan Steenstra, and Harrison Walker. Now here's some more information about the Homecoming Spirit Days from Student Council.
Thank you, Student Council, for that great video. I know I'm excited to go all out for these spirit days. Me too, me too. I am super excited for the game this week as well. I just hope that the weather keeps up, so let's toss it over to Brooke Ingram to see if it will. Thanks, Emma. Happy Tuesday, Jays. This week is starting to cool down and feel a lot more like fall. Walking into school today, it was a little rainy and slightly chilly. Today is a high of 72 and a low of 58. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 54. The rest of the week will continue to be in the mid to upper 70s with the lows around 50 and a high up of 70. This weekend will warm up slightly and be in the high 70s and partly cloudy. The weather is really getting me excited for fall. That's all I have for today. Now let's head over to Nathan Gray to hear more about sports. What's up, Jays? Yesterday in Monday Night Football, the Cowboys, including their manager Jerry Jones, took a knee before the National Anthem, but then all stood up when the National Anthem was played. The Cowboys went on to win the game 28-17. Our Lady Jays volleyball team won in two sets against Staley. Make sure to come out and support them Thursday at Liberty North for the Dig for the Cure game. The Lady Jays softball team won last night 11-4 over St. Joe Central, which puts them at 7-1 in conference and makes them 20-5 overall. Let's head over to Shane and Victoria to learn more about the softball team. Our softball team is amazing, so make sure to come out to a game before the season ends. Now, if everyone could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all we have for you today. From KLHS, this has been Katie Benhart, Drew Mackey, Brooke Ingram, Nathan Gray, and all of our amazing production crew. I'm Emma Cronin. Have a great Tuesday, Jays.